What services and activities does the African community provide? African community is uh, providing services uh, like uh, supporting members who are finding it difficult to communicate with local people, like local authorities, like UNHCR, the immigration, police. We do provide, I mean, interpreters to make them understand with uh, our members. Because, as you know, some people will come here all the way from Africa, they cannot communicate in English, and the local people cannot communicate with them in the local language. And we have to have someone who can speak French or Arabic or any other local language spoken in Africa. That's a service we provide in relation to authority. And uh, other things we do for our members is to direct them where they can get, I mean, uh, early support. Some people arrive here in distress. We direct them to NGOs that can help them get basic necessities like food, like accommodation, and so forth. And uh, other things we provide is uh, to pro give civic education to our members to avoid getting them into trouble. And uh, a lot of things based on culture or education that are allowed back home are not allowed here. We try to make them aware of these kind of uh, situations. and. Uh, we, our office is open from 9.30 till 7.30 in the evening and uh, we have dedicated volunteers who are giving these services and we also from time to time organize sport activities and we liaise with uh, some schools in Hong Kong. We support the handicap uh, programs to raise funds. We participate in trainings, in cultural activities, and uh, we try to engage fully with the local community in whatever they are doing to make people feel part of the community. This is what the African community is doing. We want to expand, but uh, that requires a lot of uh, time and a lot of investment. We are working toward that reach some of those goals but uh, they are long-term goals we would like for example in the future to get a medical team in the field in Africa to help people with uh, eyesight problem we would like to help some villages get some clean water we would like to do some collection of uh, used items here and give those items to vulnerable or unfortunate people who don't have clothing, who don't have shoes, these kind of things. So they are long-term goals, but we are preparing ourselves fully and we aim to get to that level where we can make a difference in someone's life.